Champion Hill hosts its first midweek game of the 2017-18 campaign tonight as Dulwich Hamlet take on Hendon. The Hamlet made it three wins in a row on Saturday when they took all three points at Dorking Wanderers to leave them on 11 points after six games. Tonight sees them reshuffle their striking pack as Demibi Demarca and Mohamed Ufal come in for Navarach Yardam and Sanchez Ming. Hendon sit one point above the Hamlet in fourth place after they beat the Met Police at Imbercourse on Saturday. Zach Joseph and Keegan Cole, the scorers. They make four changes tonight as Ollie Spray, Keegan Cole, Casey McLaren and Kezi Ibe all come in. Dulwich have three wins and a draw in the last four league meetings here. Can they continue that good record tonight? Between them, they've lost the last three playoff finals, these two clubs. As uh, Muir tries to get in, or drop for Ibe here. It goes for the shot early on, but, well, it wasn't really troubling Edwards. Tried to catch him by surprise there, so going for the early shot, but it was on for him. Edwards usually looks to play us out towards the left wing. This time he goes down the middle. It's Tamaku who glances it on, and Ferguson's running from deep. Good turn of pace to get him away from Rian Bray. Holds him off as well. Ferguson, can he deliver? Yes, he can. Could have been a mix up in there, but it's safely back to uh, Tom Lovelock. Kokorin, it was. He got the touch. Excellent work from Ferguson. That was a good sprint from him. So, like DeMarco, will be uh, hoping to cause some good physical presence in the air. And it's two on two here. A foul on the ball. Beats the challenge of Bray. And the shot in the end was comfortably blocked. Hendon now have men behind the ball. DeMarco got there first, but it's forced a little wide. Clunis again with the challenge. DeMarco still can't get to the ball. Clunis gets there another time. Has a beating of Sprague. Feints across, does now, takes a deflection and. Chance has gone, didn't trust his left foot. Weatherstone. Asking DeMarco to run. A skip off the surface, but uh, keep it in play comfortably, DeMarco. Just needs some support now. He's got Clunis back down the line if he wants to use him. Beanie, Clunis, first touch, can he get away from Sprague? Got the toe poke on the shot, but just lacking a bit of power. Easy for Lovelock. Dulles' first real chance of the night. Short corner is on. Well done, switch on in the penalty area. Great header from Weatherstone. Important that he got that touch. Ferguson trying to help it away. It'll come from Muir, though. Back in, it's flicked on by Casey McLaren. But that doesn't bounce awkwardly. To Marco, that's a nice touch taken away from DG for the moment. Look at Shaw on the overlap. Marco's going to drive in, Phil hops against it in the end. Shaw will send in the cross. Ferguson arrives, was always stretching. Glanced it away from the area in the end. Foul this time is the recipient of the long ball. Trust his ability, Mohamedou Foul, trying to get his head down and run with it. Up against Zach Joseph. Inside now is short. Sends in the cross. Dealt with in the first instance. Kogbo! Well, he's usually accurate from those sort of efforts. This one off target, though, from the veteran midfielder. I scored one this season. Gone for goal from distance. Edwards with a full stretch dive. Not sure how close he would have been had that been on target. That was a decent effort from Matt Bolt. Clunis. Weatherstone wants Ferguson to make the run down the line. It's a good find that by Mark Weatherstone. Ferguson taking on McLaren. A couple of tricks and does send in the cross. Lovelock opts to punch. Pushing the back surely by Ferguson on McLaren. His foul. Chambers have made a good run this time. And it was his turn to be ignored. Beanie. Shaw. Just on side. Cross has found Chambers just inside the area. Still, Michael Chambers, what skill that is! And a good save by Lovelock. Well, he's not renowned for his goal scoring exploits, Chambers, but that was almost brilliant from him. Shaw. Beanie. Cross for a ball, he does that so well, Kenny Beanie. Weatherstone. Ferguson. Some runners in front of him. One bin, DeMarco is in. DeMarco, saved by the foot of Lovelock. The wait for his goal goes on for now. Dulwich defence kept their first clean sheet on Saturday. They'll be hoping for another tonight. Build them up. Here goes Sprague. Well found by Ball, good vision. Early ball in. Here's Muir. That's a good block in there. Joseph. Not far wide of the far post. Edwards again wouldn't have got anywhere near that. Dolly trying to, as I say, stretch the play, keep from one flank to the other. Far is off of DeMarca. Shrugging off McLaren for Clunis. 
Support still on offer from Kargba. It's a deep ball in. Lovelock punches. Shouts of handball. Nothing major though. It's only really Kevin James in the box. I think it was it's the shoulder of Joseph. And the stones on the overlap. Jonas is not using him. Ops to go infield. Kargba has got shore in space on the left. It's keeping it narrow with Beanie. Now they stretch it. Weatherstone, Clunas has gone the run down the line. Does bring under his control. It was hit with a lot of power into him. Crosses in. And not far wide. It's DeMarca. That was move of the game. DeMarca Rosewell. Wrong side of the post as far as he and Dulwich are concerned. Dulwich can find one. That will draw Hendon out a little bit more. Suit Dulwich. Ferguson. Still working on his fitness, he said on Saturday. Here goes Clunas. That's a great ball by Weatherstone. Clunis this time doesn't cross, takes on ball. Does poke in eventually. It's a mark of the bicycle this time. Kogbo! So close for a fantastic goal from Kogbo. Boy, he struck that well. Thought it had gone into the roof of the net for a moment. It really travelled. Lovelock, not sure would have got a touch on that had it been goal bound. He used to play as a defender, but as you can see, he can score some goals. Not a defender shot on him. Ferguson trying to flick that on. Only finds McLaren, not Clunas. But Clunas has won it back. Dulles can swamp forward. Clunas getting away from Lee this time. It's through. Files offside. It won't count. Just went early. Hendon defense did really well there. But that's sloppy from Casey McLaren. Put his side under needless pressure. He's going to send this towards the uh, far post. Going to come up with the magic delivery, Matt Bolt. And give Hendon a lead as we approach half time. I think it's going to be too deep. It is. Did start curling back in, but only after it sailed behind the far post. Casey McLaren. So having a poor first half, McLaren. Far around the corner. Look at the space for Fraser Shaw to burst into. Can take it all the way if he fancies. Fires in the shot. Straight down the throat of Tom Lovelock. That's really good from Dulwich. Awareness from foul there. Saw that Shaw was gallivanting forwards. Beanie. Again, Shaw happy to come forward. DeMarca. Pulled it back. Shaw was caught as he tried to get to the return ball. Good refereeing. Referee's uh, had a decent first half. That's actually going to be a yellow card for Dijou. The Dulwich free kick. It'll be Beanie. Hangs pretty high. Chambers get in. That's as Weatherstone. It was the latter who got the touch. And just glances over the top in the end. Foul. Drops nicely for him. Won't get to return ball. Beanie's arriving though. One for Clunis. Cargo. That's the early cross towards the marker. It goes. Just a yard or so away from reaching that. It was onside. Lovelock in the end, happy to let it go through for a goal kick. Joseph. Once we get to return ball, here's that Joseph. will take Michael Chambers with him. First time ball in. We all got that the near post head of Hales. Difficult one to get around the Dulles centre back and inside that near post. Dinks it over the top. Hendon can counter now. Four up in this attack. Ball. Joseph. Got Muir in space, trying to play it through the middle. Muir gets another go at it. That's a long range shot. Well, his confidence is high with his eight goals this season, but that was never troubling Preston Edwards. Mark Weatherstone. Aaron Clunis now, hugging the right touch line, sends in the early cross, in towards Fahl. Bit of a miscue from the defender. Didn't fancy using his head there, Fahl tried the uh, volley. Chambers, Shaw, Files drop deep to receive, nice quick feet from Hamadou Fahl and he'll drive towards the area now, and he goes down, Fahl is going to get booked for diving I think, Weatherstone again, Fahl, has he got another goal in his locker today after those two at Harlow, Dallas could do with a goal from anywhere right now, Clunis beating Bull, has he got the better of spray, yes he has, low ball in, it's it's a touch, Mamadou Fall! Saved by the foot of Lovelock, not for the first time tonight. Score from out, swinging corner. 
on Saturday. Man who scored that is forward. Could just lost it in. Hales, I think, got the touch. There's a whole host of bodies in there. DeMarco Hales going for the same ball. I think Weatherstone might have been in there as well. Came close to the free kick in the first half. With Bark and his instructions. Chip towards Dijou, who gets his flick on. And Muir! Edwards was scrambling, took a little deflection on it. Away for the corner it goes. Edwards at full stretch there. Dijou. And then put the cat amongst the pigeons with a goal of their own. Starting to find themselves in the second half. It's Keegan Cole. Back to Cole. Should have taken the first time shot, really. Went for the pass when the shot opportunity presented itself. Here with Beanie. Correa had a quick look around before he received it, seeing who was there. Lovely footwork from Carew. Buy himself some space. Carew again. And still. In the end, had to find Cargbo, but importantly kept hold of the ball. Now it goes to Clunis. And he finds a cross. Beats ball. Still Clunis. Chips it in. Over the top it goes. It's Mohamedou Fall from close range. Stretching, couldn't keep his header down. Brilliant build up play. Carew magnificent in there. And they only have about 10 minutes, 11 minutes to. Uh, be able to do this, Boachi Yadam, first involvement, gets past the defender. Good sliding challenge on him, he got away from Lee so easily there. And there's the first touch for Walker. Three changes made then by the two managers in that break. That's a good challenge. Muir back to goal, forced backwards as well. Pressure, nice turn. Good strength from Fahl, crowd like that one. Carew, Boachi Yadam. Carew again. Cargbo for Beanie. Is he going to cross himself or will he use Ming? Does cross. Come for Carew! Saved by Lovelock. Another great save tonight. Clunis. Ball gets it away. Clunis wants to go for the throw. No, he doesn't. Tonish very much wants to keep this game alive. Now Weatherstone, he can take a touch before crossing. He does now. It's come for Ming. Blazers over. Maybe didn't quite get his head over the ball. Can't repeat. His uh, goal is scored at Leyston. Lovelock distributes forward. He's had a good game, Tom Lovelock. Hales trying to poke it through. He may well go forward in a minute. We saw it at Harlow. He came on. He uses a battering ram up front. It worked well for Dulwich. Played a role in the equaliser in that game. Foul, nice turn. Ming wants it, Foul's going to take it himself. Really poor shot from Mohamedou Foul in the end. Maybe could have played it into Sanchez Ming. Watch the item, Beanie. Out for Clunis. Comes inside, he's got Cargo in support. Into the area is Carew. Can he find a little bit of a cross? Yes, he can. Lovelock punches away. Won't fall for Clunis. Lovelock repelling everything. Dulwich have thrown at him tonight. Ward's about to go up. Cargbo. Foul. Came close to that header not too long ago. Clunis. Goes inside Clunis. Gets away for another challenge. Beanie. Shot takes a deflection. Easy for Lovelock. Into four minutes of additional time. Carew. And he's dispossessed. Not what Dulwich need right now. Diju gives it away to Carew. Diju goes in. Diju has been booked in this game. He's going to get a second yellow and he's off. So Hendon will have to see out the final three minutes. Uh, a man light. Rock again, eating as much time up as he can. Chamber not down, won't find Beanie. Hendon just needs to keep ball now. They might get the sucker goal. Ball well brought down by uh, Walker. Can he uh, get the better of Weatherstone here? Does try and bend it and scores. And they do get the sucker punch at the end. 
Done its rule there, pressing in this game. And it's Hendon who will come away with all three points. Deep into injury time. Superb finish from Joshua Walker. Edwards could do little about that. Brought it down so well, Walker, the long ball. And bent into the far corner of the inside of the post. Frustrating evening gets worse for Dulwich. Well, they're showing very little desire in getting the three points tonight, but I did say that counter-attack was always on with Dulwich pushing men forward. And that indeed was the last kick of the game. Dulwich's indifferent start to the season continues tonight. A 94th minute winner from Joshua Walker has given Hendon the three points. Their first win here in the league since the 2000-2001 season. Dulwich had so many chances during the course of the night. Tom Lovelock making four or five top draw saves to repel them time and time again. And that goal in injury time, a long ball for Walker, controlled it nicely, had the better of Weatherstone, bent into the far corner to leave Dulwich in uh, despair. Final score then at Champion Hill in his first midweek game of the season on this ground is Dulwich Hamlet nil, Hendon 1. I think the word to describe tonight game would be frustrating, wouldn't it? Yeah, frustrating. It's football. Um, I think we played our best football this season today. Some really good football, passed it well, created chances. Uh, we seemed to find their goalkeeper in good form and also a lot of our shots were sort of directed down his throat today as well. Um, but on another night, with, with respect to Hendon, we're a good team. Uh, two, three goals clear uh, wouldn't have been a, a disgrace. But that's football. It's all about goals. Uh, goals win games, um, as was proven tonight. Uh, lads probably had one sight of goal today, the boy has, and, he, and he's taken it. And that's something that we didn't do today. So it's football. Um, it's, it, it feels hard to take, but we've been there. We've seen it before. No points, but you're obviously taking the positives from it. If you're saying it was some of our best football this season. Yeah, um, it's, it's more like what I know we can do as a team. Um, we will get better even even beyond that today. I think um, there's still a lot of growth in the team uh, in terms of performance, level performance. So I still believe that there's more more to come from us um, and just a bit more clinicalness in the final third. And um, yeah, we would have won the game today. You and I have spoken many times over the last few weeks about the, how clinical we can be. Are we just sort of one goal away from a really big win, do you feel? Possibly, possibly. Um, uh, you, couldn't, you can't get in the heads of some people, so you never know. Maybe lacking a little bit of uh, belief or confidence. Um, but sometimes it's just decision making. We had good opportunities in and around the box. We have a shot too early, a pass at the wrong time. And they're, they're things that you have to take a bit of a period of time to get players doing the right things every week. Um, but our level of performance was good today, um, very good. Um, and we just need to basically be a bit more ruthless, score our goals and make sure they don't uh, score at the end. Is there a slight concern from your end? Because I know last season it wasn't quite the fortress here at Champion Hill. That's obviously two defeats now we've had here and a, and a draw as well. No, that would be very reactive. I think tonight's game, you ain't going to get many of them in a season uh, where you dominate the game for large periods and, and they score with a, a man down and the last kick of the game. That doesn't happen every week. So whether it was at their place, our place, so, no, nah, I wouldn't look into that too much.